anything in Bushwick. And these children are so poor, they can't even afford uh, the subway fare to go to Lincoln Center. Part of the job is to share, share the beauty of music. And what I see, I mean, if I were to say to Juan Carlos, uh, listen to this Beethoven picture, isn't it something? And if he says to me, yeah, I see what you mean, that's it, that's the beauty. How I started the orchestra was because I was conducting orchestras in New York City and a lot. Many of the musicians say, why don't we form our own group because, you know, we like each other, we respect each other. They generally find a lot of resistance with an orchestra and the conductor. Sometimes they say, no one likes the boss. But I don't feel like a boss. I feel like I'm just uh, part of them, you know. Uh, ready? And you. G. Me and I like them, so we right, finally right. formed our own orchestra. We have a tam tam tam. I met Juan Carlos Escudero in uh, Ecuador. I was contracted to conduct there, and we met, and uh, I was very impressed with him and his parents. And when I heard him uh, play the Greek, uh, I said, Wow, it would be great if you can come to New York City because our specialty with the Pan American Orchestra and the Bushwick Institute is to promote uh, what we think is potentially great talent. We had a little chat back there. Um, then uh, we became friends. When he returned to the States, we keep in touch with it by email. Uh, he listened to me playing and he saw also a DVD of me playing. So, so it's a professional relationship, but it's also uh, my friend. He's also my friend. So. What I love the most of the maestro is that uh, his passion for music. So uh, he wants to share it not just with me but with everybody. So that's why he's always with his orchestra, trying to make it better, trying to sound it to sound better. So not just because we have to play what is written, but just because we have to communicate something, and that's the that's a big deal. So that's what I love the most of him. As a, as a professional. I'm killing you! Again, same place. Ready? One, two, three, four, for instance. Everybody in Ecuador, back in Ecuador, they continue asking me, why are you a lawyer? You are obviously a pianist. There's no law for artists and or pianists or musicians in Ecuador. So people in the government, they don't know what means to be an artist. So that's why uh, I wanted to become a lawyer because someday I want to help uh, other artists to have their their uh, their careers, uh, I don't know, insured by a law that protects them from anything. Toscanini was 90 when he passed away, uh, Stokowski 96, Pablo Casals 96, the great Arthur Rubinstein 96, I wish. No. <laughs>